whenever any of these young rappers pass away, a lot of times I notice that there's a conversation about Tupac. Like, is it fair to compare this person's career to Tupac? Or, you know, what what was it that, you know, I, I remember when Tentacion, who I was real close with, he died. And I said something on a podcast or something. I said something about, like, this is like Tupac for this younger generation. I had TMZ in my emails, like, moments later, <laughs> trying to get me to, you know, reiterate that on camera. Because still Tupac's name rings bells to the extent that if you just compare a new rapper to him, that's newsworthy on TMZ. It's like one of the biggest news sources, and they want to put that as a headline. What do you think of that? And is it, is it fair to put anyone in that kind of conversation? And what is it that keeps Tupac's name still that relevant? Well, the thing about it is the struggle Tupac went through, you know, to compare somebody to Tupac. You know, is it, I don't know, it's kind of disrespectful. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They ain't been through that struggle. They ain't did what he had to do to make it. It's, it's bigger than rap, you know. To say that is like saying a boxer is the Muhammad Ali of his time. It's, it's impossible. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's literally impossible, you know. There's only one Muhammad Ali. And that is a problem, though. You can't keep comparing people to people. Why can't they be their own individual? Mm. Originality. Everything is compared to somebody. You can't. You, there'll never be another Muhammad Ali. There'll never be another Floyd Mayweather. There'll never be another uh, uh, great like these guys. You really think that, though? Why can't someone be better than them? Yeah, that's the point. Better than. They can't be them. Right. So if they're better than, then they wrote their own ticket. Sports is different than music, too, though. Sports and music, peace pipe, crack pipe, same thing. <laughs> okay? <laughs> same thing. There'll, there will never be another Michael Jordan. Why can't Kobe just be Kobe? Right. You see what I'm saying? But you can say, okay, Kobe is to this generation what Michael Jordan was it's to another generation. It's easy to say that. You ain't talking about his talent and skills. You're talking about how the people embrace him. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But you ain't talking about his skill. He has the same skill as Michael Jordan. No. You can say, like you said, because you the, the key is, see, I'm a lawyer by trade, psychologist. By I see that. You're, you're, right. Your argument, argument and, of and, skills and, and, are better and, than average. And all you're doing is coming up with a, a way to justify your theory. Mm. See, but you're still saying the same thing. He's like, he reminds you of something. Mm. Like Triple X, rest in peace. What reminded you of Pac in him, cuz? There was like a certain emotional, visceral attitude of just really, I don't know, just really being like. Did you know Tupac? No, of course not. So therefore, how are you going to say cuz is like Pac? You don't even know cuz. I'm talking about the relationship that I think the fans You're talking had about to Exactly, cuz. Fuck all of that, cuz. You don't even know cuz. Don't say somebody's like somebody you don't know. You ain't been around cuz. See how people get emotional over yeah. that shit. I was just giving you an example. You know what I'm I saying? was thinking, I'm like, is this going to be the viral moment? <laughs> <laughs> you just saw your face, though. You was like, oh, shit. I was like, is this like the Kendergram? TMC, TMZ shit. What the? No, I was just saying, you see how people, because, you know, those that, know, that met him, that know him, mm. yes, it's an offense to say anybody's like cuz. He's dead. Mm. You couldn't say that if he was alive. Mm. Right. Because that's another thing why you wouldn't say he was like Pac. Mm. Because he wouldn't come to the No Jumper headquarters. Sure he would. No. Oh, we got corrupt. You got corona? I mean, we might have some coronas. But <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. That boy ain't going to come to Los Angeles, man. Come knock on that door. Okay, but how, how do you feel about Tupac the fact that... Tupac will come to that door, right? But, but people get remembered differently when they pass away, right? Especially young. Um, yeah, because, you know, the earth is built of different opinions. Freedom of speech is one of the things about America. A lot of people uh, have different views of things. <clears throat> everybody ain't right. Everybody ain't wrong. When it comes to opinions, there is no right or wrong. There's only how that particular person feels. 
There's never a right or a wrong in an opinion. Mm. See what I'm saying? And opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. Nobody's right or wrong. Nobody can say that Triple X is not like Tupac because, you know, that's your opinion. Mm. See, that, that's your opinion. Nobody can say your opinion is wrong because Triple X reminded you of Tupac. Right. It don't remind Raz of Tupac. Don't remind Kill Priest of Tupac. <laughs> Got it. Tupac. Little Tupac. subtle head Snoop shake of there. Tupac. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Right. It don't remind Lily of Tupac. But there's a lot of people that would agree with you. They have your they share your same views. Mm. So you know, hey man, you can say anybody, you know, my dog Blue, you know what I'm saying? She reminds me of my, you know, my pistol. Mm. Right. Because I wanted to kill everything that comes my way. Get him! Get him! Right? <laughs> right. It's just the way I feel, right? And can't nobody tell me no different. When I snap that finger and she motherfucking shoot your ass, them sharp ass teeth and that strong bite, <laughs> same effect. Mm. You're going down. Right. That's all it is, cuz. So if, if he reminds you of Pac, more power to you, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can say you wrong because it's your personal opinion. Mm. But you also got to deal with those that, that look at that man. You know, people out there hurt you over that type of shit. Motherfuckers go crazy. They go nuts. The world is a place of people nuts, man. They'll mm. fuck a person up over that type of shit. Really? Man, you better ask Raider fans. Say something about the Raiders. I, I, dare really, I, I, I dare you. I dare you. Say something about the Raiders. i never seen a game. Say something about the Dodgers. never seen a game. Say something about it. I dare you. I'm from the East Coast. We don't. Say something about the Yankees. Say something about the... Sox. Red Sox, for the record. And you can say whatever you want. I'm not that invested. Say something about the Red Sox to Ben Affleck. I just realized... Say you... something to him. Say, say, say anything. Did Maybe. anyone else notice that he's he wearing... He's going to He's wearing headphones. <laughs> Like two sets of headphones. <laughs> you have the headphones around your neck and on your head. Hey man, you How know, did it take me that long to notice that? I'm wearing the headphones I have to wear, and I'm also wearing the headphones that I like. Mm. Hello. We right. We could have maybe plugged those in. I don't know how it works exactly, but yeah, we could have. Yeah. But I like your headphones, man. You understand me? This this is all about the no jumper. Okay. I want to be a part of the experience. Mm. Yeah, fit in with the kids. Man, I want to do it. Got to do it. You still get the good Beats by Dre boxes sent to the house. Hell no. Damn. Yeah, man, you know, that, that shit's over with, nigga. Nigga, I go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> let's go get them motherfuckers, man. Yeah. You dig? Let's show, let's show, let's show big bro some, some support. Yeah. Go buy these motherfuckers, cuz. No, See, Dr. Good. Dre, like, man, I bought these. Good look at corrupt. And then he'll give me some free ones, too. Here you go, man. These the new ones. Damn. Mm. Why'd I even buy these motherfuckers? Well, shit, now I got two. I'm gonna get these. I'm, say, I'm gonna get this to one of my kids. And then when I get to the house, they're like, oh, well, dad, you got those? Let me get those. Hell no. These are collector's items. Hell no. I ain't giving my Dr. Drake's to nobody. Rule number one. Rule number one. Yeah, man. Keep your shit, man. Put that shit up, man. Don't touch Rainy my day. headphones. Porter. Oh, you, you, you relate to that show? Hell yeah, I relate to that goddamn shit. Oh. My mama was a hoarder. Make me wish I was a hoarder. I probably have all my plaques. Now my plaques is spread it everywhere. My baby mama got my plaques. My ex-wife got my plaques. I should have hoarded those motherfuckers. I should have hit them from the door. I got the opposite problem. <laughs> I don't save anything. Me neither. That's yeah. why my plaques is with my baby mama and my ex-wife. Shit, I should have hoarded them motherfuckers. I did put some with my mama, though, because she kept shit and put them in the cut. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, hey, I ain't mad at them. 